What is your outlook for getting all of your productions back up and running? What's the time frame? Uh, first and foremost, uh, we have to be very realistic because nobody knows when the society, when the planet is going to be back to normalcy. And we think, and we have based our business plan to our shareholders, to the fact that we don't think we will be able to start bringing back shows before the spring of 2021. Mm -hmm. So that's why we feel very lucky today and spoil that people are willing to support us for that long period of time without us having any revenue at all. Quite amazing. I have to say, it's a sort of personal uh, interest for people sat at the desk here. My husband proposed to me after a Cirque du Soleil event. Romain used to work putting up tents for Cirque du Soleil some 20 odd years ago. So this is a, a business that brings joy to many. How are you going to continue to do that? Talk to us about the bankruptcy protection you now have, the support you have from your stakeholders. Yeah, the fact that now we uh, have been protected from uh, our creditors, uh, we start a process in which uh, we have had a first offer from our shareholders, which is protecting our employees. They have created a fund of $15 million to help them grow to go through this difficult time. And, uh, and the fact that they are supporting our uh, artists also in Las Vegas, because we think our opportunity will be to first start our shows in Las Vegas, because our cast and crew lives there. For our touring show, it will be much more complicated because our cast and crew come from uh, 50 different countries where they are uh, located right now. How are you thinking about shows when they reopen? Are you willing to perform in front of a crowd that's half full? Or do you really want crowds to be sold out and a lack of social distancing for the effect and for the environment that that creates? Yeah, so I, we want to go pro progressively. So as I said in Vegas, we think we can open some of our signature show like O and others. And those show has a break even about 40%, which means that if we open the theater with the capacity to 50 to 60% of seats, it will uh, be profitable, not as much as it is today. But the real, real key for us is to go back to normality. So I've never been so interested about science because when there will be a vaccine or a cure and we go back to normality, that's when Cirque du Soleil is going to be ready to rock again and yeah. be at the place where we were before the crisis. So in the interim, though, I mean, you've got to work yourself through this bankruptcy reorganization or restructuring uh, of the debt load here. There has been some criticism uh, by some of the creditors out there that maybe the bankruptcy filing came a little bit too quick and that there wasn't enough negotiation in advance with some of the debt holders. What do you say to that? What I'm saying is that we have 45 days ahead of us where everybody has the opportunity to come to the table uh, with offer. Uh, obviously, the creditors has a key role to play in this, and I'm hopeful that the creditors will sit down uh, with our actual shareholders and all the people, all the stakeholders, but obviously they're key in uh, finding the solution and finalizing it. What is interesting for us today is because there is a proposal on the table, a very serious proposal coming from our shareholders, it, I can say to you and to all of our employees that the survival of Cirque du Soleil is guaranteed because all the stakeholder wants us to go back to business because they know that when we go back to normality, we will go back to profitability. Daniel, do you think normality will be the same as it was in the past? We talked today of concerns about swine flu in Asia and a potential for further pandemics. Do you think people will change their view on how they want to participate and experience such events as Cirque du Soleil? Is there something you can do to bring it at home? You're looking at in-home entertainment, at, at the video focus. How are you going to make this business fit for purpose for the future if one day, sadly, a pandemic unfolds once again? Yeah, I think people are looking forward to go back to human experience. And I, I truly believe that the one day that we go back to normality, people will rush back in, in uh, personal experience. Right now, we're all in the mind frame that we're all scared because of what's happening, and rightly so, because we're all concerned about our health. But when we have a cure or a vaccine, I think people will be really looking forward 
to go back to great human experience, and that's what Cirque du Soleil is all about.